Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and Microsoft made a announcement today for Windows 11 users. So if you were on 21H2 and did not see 22H2 in your Windows updates, well, maybe you should go and take a look or even do a little Windows update. Microsoft says that starting today, if you are on a compatible machine that has no blockers, Windows Update 22H2 is available for every single PC that's compatible. So go and check out your Windows Update. It might be there waiting, saying that, you know, just download and install. And um, or now you can do check for updates, see if it shows up. And um, so that's opening 22H2 to a lot more machines. Uh, they're saying that, um, you know, with all the um, compati compatibility blocks that there are available, um, everybody that can move on is pretty much safe to move on. Uh, looking at the upgrade process and looking at the um, you know the problems because I hear a lot of people complaining and saying that oh Windows 11 is that um, you know Windows that has tons of bugs and problems. It doesn't. Um, that there's there's for some reason there's a false um, sense of of a Windows that is unstable, which is it, it's absolutely perfect. It works great. The number of people is, you know, there's no more people having problems on Windows 11 than Windows 10. Uh, that's for sure. And um, the other thing, if you see it but you don't want to upgrade, you still got a year. Um, the um, end of support for Windows 11 is 24 months of support. So 24 months from the original release of 21H2 goes up to about October of next year. So you still got a year roughly that you can stay on 21H2 if you're fine with it. And for 22H2, well, you can move on. If you don't see it, you got a blocker. So something is not right yet for you to have it. And um, just wait for it. Don't force it. Don't go to the download page and, you know, install it, force it. If there is a block, there's a reason for that. So just wait. It'll appear at some point. And last but not least, for those asking, well, you know, I didn't have that moment one. If you have the uh, Patch Tuesday updates, moment one, you've got it. Now, what is not showing up for everybody is every feature yet. Um, so, for example, File Explorer has tabs now. You might see that. And every, most people should see it now. But there are things like, you know, there was somebody asking me today, well, when I right-click on the taskbar, I still don't have the, you know, task manager as the second option here. Um, I don't have it either. It's one of the weird ways that it's actually rolling out. So eventually it'll be there in Windows 11 22H2 with Bowman 1. So uh, not all features are turned on for everybody. Some have it, some don't. It's a very weird way of rolling out stuff, I would guess. And the next moments, of course, will be next year. The moment 2, as we call it, which is the next update to Windows 11, will be in January, apparently. So check it out if you want to move on to 22H2. It should be available if you have no blockers of compatibility and uh, Microsoft opening Windows 11 22H2 to much more computers now starting today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.